Good evening. A commercial landowner says it was a costly mistake for the city of Albuquerque and now taxpayers are paying for it. We've heard from businesses along Central over the years complain about losing business because of the ART project. Tonight News 13's Jeannie Nguyen spoke with an attorney representing one of those business owners and how they are now getting a big payday. Jeannie. Jackie, this attorney says the city never talked to the business owners along Central when they started construction, hurting many of the longtime businesses. But just this week, after a four-year battle, the business owners say they are finally able to claim their win. For years... I think people are frustrated, as they should be. Drivers and especially business owners... I'm guilty of it, too, and I think just about everybody that's on Central is guilty of that. ...have been complaining about the ART project, especially when it came to access to the businesses along Central. They cut off all left in, left out access to West Central Plaza along Central. Dan Gershon is the attorney for a business owner in this shopping center at Central and Etrusco. <laughs> Gershon says when the ART project was still under construction, his client lost a lot of business, and it never got better. Today, the ART bus lane and stop sits in the middle of Central, still cutting off direct access to his client's business. We never asked for the project to be stopped. We just asked for access along Central. Gershon says his client asked the city to move this intersection a few yards west of Atrisco so that it could benefit the businesses in the West Central Plaza. The city just wouldn't. After the city condemned the area, Gershon took the city to court and fought to have the city pay his client for all the lost business. On Thursday, a jury ruled in favor of Gershon's client. And the jury awarded $712,000. Gershon says the city's lack of compassion for the business owners not only cost them more than half a million dollars, but it's punishing the taxpayers. I think they didn't want to spend the money to redo the entrance, and instead they got a more expensive judgment. They could have fixed this by listening to the owner. Now, we reached out to the city for a comment to see if they plan on appealing the jury's decision. They say they are reviewing the options in response to this lawsuit, which came from the Barry administration's decision involving the ART. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. Gershon says the city has only paid $69,000 so far, and he hasn't seen any indication that the city plans on making payments. There was also a 6% interest tacked on that continues to add up.